This just in, Marvel Studios has officially announced its Fantastic Four cast. Happy Valentine's Day indeed. Welcome to Movie World Plus, a place where we talk movies. I'm Andy Signor, and yeah, I'm not mad at this casting. Marvel Studios has officially announced its four members. Uh, and yeah, look, look how good Pedro Pascal is looking as Reed Richards. First of all, I got to say, Vanessa Kirby announced as uh, Sue Storm. Uh, and then we have here, let me show you the actual pictures here. Uh, Eben Moss Backrack. For those of you unfamiliar who he is, he's on The Bear. Uh, he's pretty good on that show. I got to say, I just got into that show and I like him. But the most inspired casting for me, uh, the Human Torch, Giant Storm himself, uh, Joseph Quinn, Stranger Things, Eddie, my God, you remember him. Uh, what a brilliant casting choice. Uh, I've been waiting for something for him to get something massive. And this is clearly it. So there you have it. Our four cast members have been revealed for the fantastic four. Disney officially made the announcement here. Pascal was previously reported and will be playing Reed Richards, Mr. Fantastic. Uh, Kirby will star as Sue Storm, the invisible woman, while Joseph Quinn will play her brother, Johnny Storm, human torch and Moss Backrack will play Ben Grimm. The thing, uh, the film has a new release date of July 25th. And it's hailed by WandaVision director Matt Shankman. Uh, and uh, yeah, also penned by Sh uh, Jeff Kaplan, Ian Springer, with Avatar Way of the Water Scribe, Josh Freeman, working on the latest version. Uh, they moved back, I guess, Thunderbolts. They swapped the dates with Thunderbolts, and now it's coming out there. But yes, this is a pretty big deal, man. This is a pretty big deal. Obviously, we know Chris Evans, Michael Chiklis, Jessica Alba, Ian Grofod was the original cast of the two previous Fantastic Four films, but here we go. Happy Valentine's Day. Uh, there is a, a, you know, old timey feel to this, which makes me wonder, are they going to turn them into some, is it a period movie? Will this be shot, you know, earlier? Uh, the little robot here, the, the, the look of it all feels like, you know, fifties, six, I think that's a fifties, right? Um, could this be something and then they're pushing in the future? Who knows? But I appreciate this artwork, and I'm, I gotta say, I'm not mad at this cast. As they show here with the new logo, it's got an old-timey feel, and uh, that could be an interesting take on this Fantastic Four. So what do you guys think of this? I know a lot of people are mad uh, at uh, Pedro Pascal, but I, I don't know, I, I'm digging the hair, he's got the look. I'm, I've been a fan of Pedro Pascal. I think he's good in The Mandalorian. Um, I, I have a fan. Go back to all his stuff. Narcos Kingsman. He's he's a good actor. I got no problem with him in this role. He's aged right. I like that they're putting the gray in the hair. He could really pull this off. He's a fan favorite. He's popular. I'm not mad at it at all. I'm most excited. I, I got to be honest. I'm most excited with the, the, the prospect of bringing in Stranger Things is uh, Joseph Quinn who I think has a lot of potential and I think he's going to be great. Vanessa Kirby herself uh, is a really good actress, beautiful, which obviously the role is, is needs to be involved around, but also really talented as an actress. And uh, look, I'm not, I'm least familiar with uh, what's his name. Uh, Ed, uh, Eben Moss ba Backrock. Sorry if I'm even saying it wrong. I'm on I'm least familiar with him. I've only just started watching the bear. He's got a very aggressive like city sort of style, but I could see that working for the thing. And granted, it's more of a voice role anyway, motion cap voice role, but he's got this aggressive uh, emotion to him in the bear that I think actually very similarly could be, could play really well with Ben Grimm with the action, the frustration, the anger, the attitude. Uh, this foursome could really work for me. I'm curious what you guys think. This is just breaking news literally minutes ago by Marvel. Surprised it just dropped on a Valentine's day. Like here it is. Yep. We have announced it. Does this actually get you excited? Obviously, there's so much more we need to learn about this film and what's going to happen. What's it? Is it a period film? What are we going to learn about this as more comes in? But this casting notice is something that obviously has been waiting to break. This is clearly a huge priority for Disney and Marvel Studios. They need something with Deadpool coming out. They need something else out there to get us invested again. Because let's be honest, Madam Web, I know it's not Marvel Studios, but still, Madam Web's not helping Marvel's case either because Marvel's logo shows up at the beginning, even though they're not as involved. But still, the state of Marvel has been so frustrating, so uh, disappointing. 
Fantastic Four, X-Men are the future of this franchise if they can pull it back together. And thankfully, the movies haven't done as well. And I think it's, and Disney Plus series aren't doing as well. They thought everything they released would be successful. And the reality is now they're being forced to really look at everything more closely. They can't have Marvel turn into Star Wars, which is sadly what's starting to happen. It's just becoming less of an event. Of course, there are still its fans, but it's not what it used to be. And Disney expects each of these films to be billion dollar films. And currently in the state that they're in, it's not going to happen. Now, Deadpool Wolverine broke all the records for trailers. Uh, so they're in a success right there. And that film, I got to be honest, as I reacted, if you missed it, check it out. I think that looks pretty exciting. It looks pretty fun. Uh, it could be the film that could bring a lot of Marvel fans back. So they got to be really careful now and make sure they're planning ahead for proper movies and I hope they're putting together a proper plan. Honestly, I would be fine with them taking a couple of years off. I know it's not, but they kind of are, but they really should just sort of stop what they're doing, reevaluate, and really put together a plan like they did the first time. Uh, and I think that would really help bring fans back, make these films feel more worthwhile. And Fantastic Four is one of those properties that, look, we've seen it before. Let's be honest. Even The Incredibles, you could argue, is a Fantastic Four movie in a way. Um, a good one and Incredibles 2 not as good but if they can pull this one off with a good cast this is the type of franchise that they need desperately right now new blood new characters popular characters Pedro Pascal is so popular in the world right now he's facing that phase where people are annoyed with him etc um, but and obviously there's the Gina Carano Star Wars you know people frustrated with him who've given up on Disney altogether not going to win them back, but I, the rest of the world, I think, are very pro Pedro Pascal, and I think he's an interesting choice here. When I look at this cast, I'm happy. There was talk for a while that this was going to be the diverse, they were going to do a diverse Fantastic Four. They did say that for a long time. I got to say, they didn't go there. They did finally keep everyone <laughs> the way they are, sort of in the comics. They didn't try to make them, you know, some ethnicity, and, and, and I think good for Marvel. Finally, they're like, let's react to what the comics are for the Fantastic Four. Uh, so I, I, look, I, I'm, I'm excited. I, I'm, I'm going to be optimistic. I'm going to be optimistic. I'm not mad at this cast. Uh, it's an interesting play. Uh, this, I'm not angry at anybody in this lineup. Uh, in fact, I'm intrigued and it shows that they're taking this seriously. They've put in talented, popular actors and hopefully they're going to deliver on this. What do you guys think? Could this start to finally put Marvel in the right direction. Obviously X-Men, the next big thing, but I can't imagine they're not going to do a lot of teasing and build up as to the future of X-Men in Deadpool Wolverine. I mean, what a missed opportunity if they didn't. They had every opportunity to plant a couple seeds of what the future for X-Men will look like in Deadpool Wolverine because they need to leave that movie with, whoa, I want to see that next. And that is a perfect opportunity to, to, to line up the X-Men or something in that universe unlike the Marvels, which I was not excited at all by their X-Men twist at the end. Um, <coughs> excuse me. What do you think? Are you excited? Are you nervous? Are you mad at this? Tell me down below in the comments before you do. Hit that subscribe button and bell for alerts here. Check out our movie coverage here. We report a lot of the movies here. Leave your comments on the thoughts on this casting. And what do you think of the state of Marvel? Are you seeing Madam Web tonight? Let us know in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching.